Captain Adam here, Real to Real Outdoors. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, planer boards, running planer boards, how I do it, my thought process, and all of that. So today we're fishing like 40 to 50 foot down for the most part. It seems the most of our bites are coming. Um, our highest board is a five color, and our lowest board is a 200 copper currently. Um, spoons on all of them. The way that I always run my board setups, I always, on the outside, I'm always running my highest lines and on the inside, I'm running my deepest lines. It's not entirely always true though, because I will always run copper inside of lead core. So today I have a five color, which should fish at 20 feet. That's 50 yards of lead core. A seven color, 70 yards of lead core should be about 35 feet. 30 feet and then uh, a 10 color, which I think is probably around 40, 45. They all have spoons. And uh, we have those as our outside three boards. And then inside that I have a 200 copper. And my, my philosophy on this or my thought process is that copper dives at a rate like this and uh, lead core dives at a less of an angle. So similar to your high and low diver. You could run your low diver uh, inside, like not out as far as your high diver, and but it's going to be at a deeper angle. It's also a little different because your diver's pulling it out to the side. But the same thing is true with your planer board. So it, your planer board is just kind of doing the same thing a diver does to pull it out to the side of the boat. So your high diver's pulling it out farther. Um, a couple of things that I think people uh, get some tangles from uh, turning is a big one. If you are running four or five boards on each side, you can't turn fast. You just cannot do it. Your outside of your turn can have five boards and they probably won't get tangled, but your inside boards are gonna get tangled if you turn too fast. So turn slow. I like to turn one degree per second. So 180 degree turn would take me three minutes. Um, that seems to be a good ratio for me. Uh, you know, every boat's gonna vary. Where very common turning on our autopilot, uh, which makes that turn a little smoother. Uh, we have the new Ray Marine on this boat, um, the Evolution 150, phenomenal autopilot. You can easily turn on it. Um, another thing to consider, uh, if you're running a spin doctor, the, the lead core or copper won't go as deep as, as it will if you're running a spoon. And if you're running a plug, uh, the plug dives a little bit. So you're gonna get about five extra feet. So if you're running a, a two color, a three color and a five color, and you got a two and a three with a plug and a five color with a spoon, there's a good chance that you're gonna have an issue, uh, especially when you turn with the plugs getting into that copper or getting into the um, uh, spoon rod. The same thing holds true with um, spin doctors. If you're running a spin doctor on a 10 color and a spoon on a seven and you turn, they're next to each other, They better the boards better be a long distance apart because there's a very good chance that 10, 10 color is gonna get in, come up and get tangled with that seven or the seven's gonna get into the 10. So you gotta be conscious of what bait you're running on those rods. As far as spoons go, I don't think it matters as much. You know, a mag spoon pulls a little bit harder than an SS or, um, you know, a small stinger or whatever it would be. but. Uh, for the most part, it holds true that you can um, run close to close to the same uh, cores as long as you're not running, um, you know, a mixture of spoons and plugs or spoons and rotators or, or, or what have you. Uh, the only other thing, the big thing about not getting tangled is having adequate spacing between your boards, making sure that your boards, like on here, we have our tips way up off the water, so our line from the tip of the rod to the board is not touching the water. That'll cause a lot of tangles and turning too fast. If you turn too fast, you're gonna get tangles. If you wanna run three or four boards on a side, you gotta turn slow. I mean, that's just kind of one of those deals. If you're in a situation where you have to turn fast all the time, you're in really tight quarters, don't run four or five boards or pull them. You know, if you're gonna t turn, pull your inside board and put it down the chute, something like that. Um, if you do, transfer a board to ride in the shoot position on a turn, I always take the board off just in case the fish hits that. You don't want to fight that board all the way in. You might as well just take it off. It only takes a second to put it back on, at least if you have ninja boards. So we're running four uh, boards aside right now. We'll run up to six. Um, beyond six, it gets pretty tricky. But uh, five, four or five boards is pretty common for us on a daily basis. We always turn slow and we always make sure that we have them in the right arrangement. So always think, shallowest rod on the outside, 
deepest rod on the inside. You want this V, so when a fish bites, it's gonna pull to the center out of the V. If your V is going like this, you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna have some problems, right? I guess it would be like this. When this one goes, it's gonna come up and get everything else. So be careful, uh, turn slow, keep your speed up when you're turning, don't get too slow when you turn. That'll cause problems as well. So I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, drop a comment, hit that subscribe button, and hit the bell if you want a reminder next time I post a new video. We'll see you soon.